Welcome to the first tutorial for the Torino Tech and Torches construction manual. In this video, we're going to be making socketed connectors. Socketed connectors allow us to plug items into the connector to add detail, things like LED torches, architectural details, and like even a hanging banner. So we're going to start off by making a handful of them, not every single permutation of them, because you already know how to make regular connectors from the basis manual. And these are not too far, not, not very different from those. Uh, but we're going to make two different types of variations that are not on the basis manual. We are going to be making the single height and the double height, which is a new very variation that allows you to connect. You can stack two walls on top of each other and connect them together with these connectors. Or you can also connect the double height walls that are in the castles and catacombs manual. So let's get started. So we're going to make three versions of socketed connectors. And by making these three versions, you'll have all the techniques you need to make any type of socketed connector. If you have it already, make sure you've made basics manual connectors because these will look very familiar to those. And you'll need to know how to make basic connectors to make these. So you notice that the only difference really is that there is that void in the middle for the uh, socket to live. And then there's a hole on the front on the facade piece to let the socket connect. So we're going to need a piece of textured foam and a piece of untextured foam. And we're going to use the textured foam for the exterior and the untextured for the interior pieces, just like for basic connectors. And just score and cut off the piece you need for the interior. And then cut out the little bits. So here you're going to have three pieces for that interior. You're going to have one kind of support structure and then you're going to have a top piece and a bottom piece that are going to connect to that support structure. And just break all the pieces apart carefully. Here are the little additional pieces you can put on there. You'll notice they're slightly different sizes, so make sure you put the right one in the right place. You'll know you've got the right one on there if it doesn't hang over the socket in the middle there. And just a little dab of hot glue will do. Because remember, like these, like all other Trano pieces, when we put quick coat on them, that is what's kind of ultimately hold all those foam pieces together. There you go, there's the interior done. And we're gonna cut out a, a couple pieces of exterior facade pieces from some textured foam. Now you'll notice that that socket on the outside there is not centered vertically top to bottom. So you wanna make sure you put it on right side up. And you can tell if that facade piece is right side up if it lines up with that interior part of the socket. If it's not lining up with it, then you have the piece upside down. And just glue it on. And using a grid square to set the depth of the interior part, just like for regular connectors. There you go. And you see that lines up, that hole lines up with the interior void in the connector. And just put on the other piece the same way. So the last thing we need to do, which is what we do in the basics connectors too, is we need to cut out the little notches in the bottom of the connector to make sure that you can use it on a grid tile with a solid edge. So we're just going to cut out and notch out those little bits on both sides because the connector can sit both ways. And here I'm showing you how it sits on a solid edged modular grid tile. That looks pretty good. See, now it can sit flush on there. If you didn't cut those notches out, you couldn't literally put it there because it wouldn't go all the way down the groove. Next, we're going to make a double height T connector. You'll notice that the socket on double height connectors is on the bottom half. But the idea is the same. You want to make sure that void in the middle lines up with the hole on the front. And this time we're going to use a four inch piece of textured foam. So we're going to cut out that exterior facade piece. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a four inch strip of untextured foam for the interior pieces. 
Now on this I want to trace it out because I just want to kind of show you can do it either way. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of what your preference is. It is a little faster if you get good at it to just cut it directly with your knife because you're saving a step. But this is also uh, perfectly viable. Just make sure you score the end there. And scoring between the pieces. And then just cut out where you traced. and just carefully break apart the pieces. Now you'll notice that these are not, don't have the same width on both sides. So make sure that you line them up correctly with the narrow side of these two extra added bits on the same side. basically the same as a basic T connector, but you just want to make sure that these sides line up so the fat sides on one side and the thin sides on the other. So there's, this is the better way right here. There you go. Now we're just going to add a little hot glue to keep that in place. You might have to hold it because that, that foam will want to curl when it gets hot, so just make sure it doesn't curl. If it does, just hold it down while it dries. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a grid square to set the depth. That looks pretty good. The hole matches up nicely. If it didn't match up nicely, you might want to do a little trim work on that facade piece. But you shouldn't, most of the time, you shouldn't have to do that. And then last but not least, we're going to notch out a bit of that connector on the bottom there so it'll sit nicely flush on the end of grid tiles with a solid border, just like we did for the straight connector. There you go. All done. And lastly, we're going to make a corner connector, and they're very similar to basic corner connectors. And you just got to make sure that that exterior facade piece is set correctly so it lines up with the interior void for the socket. So first you're gonna cut out the textured pieces for the exterior. Now you'll notice right there in that shot that the socket is not centered on that exterior piece and that's because this is a corner connector. Keep that in mind. And then we're gonna cut out the little bits for the interior. Scoring in between each of the different sections. and carefully taking them apart. So now we're gonna add those little bits to the interior and we wanna make sure that the thin part of that little added bit is towards the facade. So make sure that you glue it so when it's all assembled that the thin bit is going to be towards the facade we're going to be gluing on. Unlike basics corner connectors, this actually, the, or there are two different corner connectors here because of the socket. There is a right facing and a left facing. In this case, we're making a right facing. So you'll notice there's that little dashed line on the template. Well, that shows you where you need to glue the other piece onto the facade. Now you can use the grid square itself just to make sure it stays at a right angle, just like you would for a regular basics corner connector. And you can use some scrap foam to get rid of any excess glue. And we'll attach the facade to the interior of the connector.
It's always good to check the lineup, and they sure do. All the bits together. Then last but not least, we just got to cut those little notches off so it'll sit on the edge of grid squares with solid ends or solid edges. There we go. One finished socketed corner connector. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back. No questions asked. Happy crafting.